Eventually, on this, they are able to get it. I'm gonna say dollar file open zero, and I'm gonna echo it out in order to show you what exactly that is. So first, let me save this file. Yes. Come here, refresh it. Hope so. We will not end up with any errors. I'm gonna go to my e directory www uh, csv and we're gonna upload this file. Let's submit. Let's see what we got. There's nothing out there. Okay. I believe we have some problem out here. Hmm. That is not equal to false. Echo PHP OP one. Let's try now. Okay, upload the file again. Let's submit. It's it's not doing anything. Well, let's write an else statement to find out whether we have some problem in the if statement or we have some problem out here on the top. Else echo fail. Okay, go ahead, refresh it. Again, upload the CSV file, hit submit. Oh, it's, it's not doing anything. So even it's not reaching out here. If you said dollar file submit, dollar handle would be equal to this. <coughs> Let me echo dollar handle. It's not saving the file. Okay. The handle is equal to resource ID 5. That's pretty fine. And we can also echo dollar file to see whether we are getting the right path or not. Come back. Take it from here. Okay, we are getting the right path. So it's PHP www tab desktop town okay that's that's pretty fine so it is able to open that file it is able to read it but there is something wrong in the middle so guys just provide me a second I'm gonna pause the video in order to make sure what is the problem then I'm gonna let you know okay guys that was a very very huge mistake from my side and that was we don't have to use a if statement we have to use a while statement out here I'm really really sorry guys so we have to use a while statement and an, an extra uh, bracket out here and an, one more bracket out here so that was the only problem apart from that it will work fine so we can echo daughter file open okay come back to this page refresh it browse the same file and that would be equal to an array so we finally we are getting our data into an array and as we now know that the data is in the form of array we can actually break it down so I can say zero out here and again upload the file hit submit now zero is equal to the name come back open the file here you will see the very first is name the second is last name so the one would be equal to last name so as we know uh, the order of our data in the CSV file in the same way we can insert it to a database so what we can do daughter SQL MySQL query insert into uh, a test that would be the name Sorry, that would be first name, last name, email, okay, and the values would be something like this, or we can create variables out here. So you can say first name is equal to dollar file open hope zero. The last name would be equal to one, and the email would be equal to two. So here would be last name and here would be email. This would be equal to the second position and that would be actually the third one in our array. So here I can say dollar 
first name then I can say a dollar last name and the very last I can say dollar email I believe you are good to go and here I can say if that statement was successful then go ahead and echo data uploaded successfully okay so that seems pretty nice let's try if that worked for us very first just get a couple of entries out here so I'm just gonna paste them okay that's fine yes come back refresh the page browse the same file and hope it will not give us any error oh my gosh it's undefined variable last name last name last name last name last name yeah, uploaded successfully because we have named it wrong out here we might have got something to our database but the last name would be missing for sure yeah last name is missing so finally we can delete everything and we can retry it so come back again browse the file hit submit yep it says data uploaded successfully okay guys there is a problem a very funny problem we don't want it inside our file statement we want it outside it otherwise it will keep on doing it okay but that's fine for now go ahead check our database we got all the multiple entries so guys this is the way how to import data into the mysql database in the next video i'm going to show you how to export data from the database and you know, uh, save it to a CSV file. So till that time, goodbye.